According to that restaurant's owner, that shooting left one person dead. It was first reported about 320 at the house of Oliver. That's right along Douglas Boulevard, right near East Roseville Parkway. While the suspect we know is in custody, the investigation into what happened is far from over. Fox 4 Bridget Bjorlo joining us live tonight in Roseville. Bridget. Eric, tonight we are learning more about the victim in that shooting, which we now know has turned deadly. According to the owner of House of Oliver, he tells us the woman worked at his restaurant for seven years, was a mother and a beloved member of his staff. A busy shopping complex closed off with police tape as investigators combed through a restaurant turned crime scene at the House of Oliver on Douglas Boulevard. And everybody's just like, run. And we're looking at everybody, we're like, run? Ashley was pumping gas at this Safeway when she saw a group of workers run through this back door, telling everyone to get down. It was like a stampede. There was 15 people running towards us, and we're like, oh, my gosh. And we ran as fast as we could, because what would your reaction be? Police say moments earlier, a male gunman opened fire on a female employee at this restaurant and wine bar Monday afternoon, leaving her with life-threatening injuries that she later died from, according to her boss of seven years, Matt Oliver. Today, due to senseless violence, we lost one of the most beautiful souls and colorful hearts. A mother, a friend, a co-worker, and truly someone who's a part of our family. And our heart is devastated. As staff members ran for their lives, the suspect, who police described as armed and dangerous, tried to escape himself. Officers detained him less than two hours later. And as detectives piece together a motive, they themselves are stunned that something like this would happen here. This is an extremely uncommon occurrence here in Roseville. This is an incredibly brazen shooting to happen uh, in the middle of the day at a business like this. And with a broken heart, owner Matt Oliver says he's grateful that help came as quickly as it did. We want to say thank you to the Roseville Police Department for acting so fast and for their unbelievable support. Just heartbreaking. Now, police say no one else was injured in the shooting. We are still waiting to learn the identity of the shooter. But a family friend of the victim tells us that they knew each other. Reporting live in Roseville, Bridget Bjorlo, Fox 40 News. Bridget, thank you.